The latest iteration of Colnago's flagship C-Series road bike is here. I'm going to run you through all the key things you need to know about the C68 and give you some ride impressions from my time with it so far. As with its predecessors, the all new C68 is handmade in Italy and is a proper superbike, but there are loads of changes. So a big thank you to our kit sponsors Freewheel. If you like any of the kit that you see in these videos, you can find the links in the video description. Before I go into more detail on the bike, I'll give you the headlines you need to know. The frame is available in full carbon or carbon with custom 3D printed titanium look. There will be road disc, gravel and all road versions. Yes, that means there will also be a rim brake version available on this bike. Comments section rejoice. The bike comes with a new 310 gram CC01 integrated bar and stem, which is designed specifically for the C68. An NFC tag is installed on every bike providing for a full digital passport. This means there's a blockchain record of the bike's spec and multimedia contents of it being made included. And finally, in what might be the most zeitgeisty move in cycling, there will also be a 3D NFT of the bike included with your purchase. Comment section revolt. I'm sure you're all eager to hear more about that, but before I dive into the details, why not subscribe to the channel? Oh, before I go any further, I should mention the price. A carbon only frame will set you back 5,650 euros, while complete bikes start at 13,260 euros. Best get saving. Okay, I've delayed no longer. Let's start with a 3D printed titanium look. Like all previous Colnago C-Series bikes, the C68 is made using a modular system. This is a signature design from Colnago, who are one of the few brands who continue to make bikes in this fashion. The V3 RS is more like a typical road bike and is built using a monocoque construction. The modular construction means the C68 is sold in seven stock sizes, whilst this is actually less than the V3 RS that has eight. Colnago also offers custom made to measure options of the C68. According to Colnago, it's able to do this thanks to the introduction of those 3D printed titanium lugs. Colnago tell us the new look design of the new bike enhances custom sizing options as they can now slide up or down the top tube on the steerer slash down tube, bringing custom stack and reach options. They also say that they're using 3D printed titanium lugs as it allows the brand to make adjustments beyond the usual limits of a few millimeters or fractions of a degree on the angles. The 3D printed parts are designed by Colnago to suit the customer's geometry and are manufactured by an undisclosed Italian manufacturer that is said to work primarily in the medical industry. How much does a titanium frame weigh over the carbon only frame? Well, Colnago claims a frame weight of 925 grams for a size 48.5 for the carbon frame and the C68 tie adds just 10 grams to that. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, the new C68 will be available as road disc, road, all road, and of course gravel options. That's right, a road bike released in 2022 that can be bought with rim brakes. They're not dead, not just yet. I'm sure there are plenty of opinions about this, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. Conago has moved away from its traditional distributor model with the new C68, and this bike can be purchased direct through the brand. This new ordering process allows prospective buyers to fully customize parts and finishing kit. It also gives a running total of your dream machine, and it's certainly not hard to breach the five-figure mark playing in there. On ordering, you can either choose to have the bike sent to your local Conago dealer for final preparation before collection, or you can, for a price, opt for Colnago's white glove service. With this, your custom C68 will be hand delivered by a Colnago representative in a custom C68 Cycon bike case and with a set of Castelli C68 Colnago kit. The bike will of course also be set up in your home for you. Initially, the direct to consumer option will be available in the EU, the UK, Switzerland and the UAE with other territories to follow. The new CC01 bar stem combo is a dedicated system for the C68 and unlike most integrated cockpits which are usually a combination of stem, clamp and bar being separate parts bonded together, the CC01 is a single monocroc construction. Conago claim this saves weight and improves rigidity throughout the structure too. It has a claim weight of 310 grams for a size 110-410. 
The main issue with One Piece systems is the limited sizing available. Conago think they've solved this issue with a complex combination mold system. That means they can offer 16 combinations consisting of four bar widths, starting at 370 millimeters and increasing in 20 millimeters up to 430 mil. This is matched with seven effective stem lengths of 80 millimeters up to 140. It isn't your average drop bar shape either. They have a longer than average 85 mm reach and 122 mm drop. The drops have a little flare to them too of two centimeters. So a 410 mm wide bar at the hoods is actually 430 at the base of the drop. Colnago say this design allows for a rider to have improved control from the wider drop when descending, with the increase in reach allowing for a more into the bike riding position. Yet the reduced hood width means you can get into a narrower, more aerodynamic position when riding on the hoods. Just behind the hood location, the bar noticeably flattens and is broader than your average bar. Conago claim this improves comfort for your palms when riding on the hoods. The stem angle is set at 84 degrees. The Conago CC01 bar is designed for wireless from SRAM, Shimano, FSA and wired electronic group sets from Campagnolo 2. It will, however, also work with external routing and rim brakes and it's backwards compatible with the C64 and the V3 RS. If one piece bars aren't your thing, the C68 can use the Superbox stem and any 31.8 diameter handlebar. It's also compatible with Data's Alenera integrated bar too. Blockchain and NFTs aren't something you usually expect to find on a newly launched bike. A blockchain is usually found in the security of cryptocurrencies as a system of recording information that makes it nigh and impossible to hack. An NFC tag is installed on the C68 when it's manufactured and is completely unique to the frame. It records all of the original specifications and can't be modified or rewritten. This allows access to the information in the digital passport of the bicycle, whose data is saved in the blockchain via the Carl Nargo app for smartphones. The digital passport enables the owner to have the information of the bicycle within reach at any time, collated within a dedicated vault. In simple terms, that means you'll never lose your receipt or your warranty information of a £10,000 plus bike. With the introduction of blockchain technology, Colnago aims to modernise bike ownership. If the worst happens and someone steals your pride and joy, then you can set it as stolen through the app and that will be allocated to the bike's blockchain record until you change it and any attempt to resell the bike will highlight it as stolen provided a prospective buyer actually checks the digital passport before purchasing. Colnago is already fitting the NFC tags to their pro riders bikes and the bike's blockchain history will be updated with any significant wins, etc. So if you're offered the chance to buy Podrigar's tour winning bike, for example, there will be provenance associated with the bike. Is this a great move for bike ownership or a flash in the pan? Let me know in the comments. It would be very easy to be hypercritical of a bike at this price point and with the exclusivity at its core, so I'm just going to park that for the moment. In the not too distant past, I've tested Colnago's V3, the more affordable, in relative terms, version of Pogagar's V3 RS and came away impressed. Now, the C68 feels somewhat familiar to that machine in the way it handles on the road, but it's even better. The C68 is simply quite a magnificently handling bike. All at once it feels nimble, yet it's flighty, its stiffness, especially through the pedals, makes for a lively ride. Combined with its low weight, excellent wheels and tyres, it climbs with the very best. The stunning stiffness never comes across as harsh, and the flighty handling, which makes mid-corner corrections on fast descents a breeze, never drifts into nervousness. The Pirelli P0 race tyres offer compliance, superb grip, and left me impressed throughout all of my test rides. The C68 is a truly lovely place to spend my time spinning the pedal. The CC01 bar, I think, is certainly one of the stars of the show. Its flattened top section, flowing into the minimal stem, looks great. The hold on the tops is welcome when climbing, and at the elbow before the hoods, it's flatter and wider, making for a very, very comfortable hand placement when riding up on the hoods. The shape of the drop, however, is the smartest part, with the drops expanding outwards by a centimetre from the distance of the hoods, but not using an out back sweep or a flare, effectively giving you a wider bar when riding the drops, and a wider bar gives you more confidence to the handling. Yet, when you're up on the hoods, you can maintain a much more compact, more aero ride position. It's smart thinking, and has had me researching to see if I can find a similar bar I could use on my own bike. 
If you ignore all of the ephemera around the C68 with NFTs, blockchain, white glove service, etc., what you're left with is a bike I fully think Colnago needed to make with the new C-Series. If Colnago kept on their previous path, they ran the risk of becoming a heritage brand rather than a 21st century brand with heritage. The C68 is superb. I've absolutely loved my time on it. I may never be in the position to buy one, and very few of us ever will, but I could admire the design, wax lyrical about the ride, and even be a little bit amused by NFT avatars and the like. A virtual C68 is one thing, but in the flesh, it's the real deal. But those are just my thoughts. I want to hear yours in the comments. Also, let me know if you want to see a full review of this superbike. If you like this video, why not subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and hit that bell so you know when we post a new video.